Me. Me. Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, where we take a look at different YouTubers and point out some traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissist personality disorder. First of all, let me say very clearly once again, we are having a little messy fun. This is not a diagnosis. We're simply going to point out some traits that this YouTuber shows us that seem similar to traits that fall within NPD. So key points to remember, messy fun and not a diagnosis. I'm being extra careful tonight because I'm mildly concerned to be looking at Katie Joy. Katie runs the YouTube channel Without a Crystal Ball, and she covers a number of topics, mostly reality TV, celebrity gossip, trending news, and more. Katie is hardcore, like dog with a bone focus. She will go to almost any lengths to confirm her stories. She's purchased information, she's gotten court documents, interviewed neighbors, family members, and so on. Of course, she has also had her fair share of controversies over the years with Shane Dawson, Tatty Westbrook, Creepshow Art, and so on. She fancies herself a reporter. I thought today we would look at a recent upload of hers entitled, I'm Not Okay, Thinking About Quitting YouTube. Let's get right into it. Hi guys. You know, I've been like in this very weird spot for a long time. Um, for months, I was not able to say anything. So for a very long time, while my lawsuit was going on, I had to stay silent. I never realized until I was amplified into a place where um, so many eyes were on me. And I've never been in that position before. And it was overwhelming. And suddenly, like, my name was associated in videos with really bad things that I wasn't doing. Without getting too much into it, Katie is discussing being sued by Taddy Westbrook, a beauty YouTuber, for defamation, trade libel, false light invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. And it was hard for me because I've never been the kind of person that has done bad things, like lying about Shane Dawson, doxing creep show art ready to glare incident, calling Sophie Long, a nine-year-old abuse victim, a spoiled brat, a feud with Angelica Oles, to name a few. I'm just a mom that has a family that has a husband and a kid, and I like cats. When she's on the warpath, she's an investigative reporter, a journalist. Now, when looking for support or pity, she's just a mom. And I like dogs, and I like to swim, and I like to run, and I like to read. Um, I love my family, and I love to investigate, and I love to create content. I love to tell stories. That's why I started this. You know, I love telling stories and I'm good at telling stories. And I feel like narcissists rarely miss a chance to remind you what they're good at or how proud of themselves they are. They often exaggerate achievements and talents. The channel grew the way it did because I've been good at my job. I think I've cultivated really great relationships with so many people. I have met so many people that I never would have been able to meet before. Some of the con content I've put out has been so much fun. Telling stories has been so much fun. Meeting people has been so much fun. Um, I don't think I was prepared for... me becoming the story. I never wanted myself to become the story. I never wanted me to be the interesting part. Narcissists have a sense of entitlement and require constant, excessive admiration, but often have feelings of shame, insecurity, vulnerability, and humiliation. 
Um, there was a group of people that have um, spreading misinformation about me. Um, infiltrating my relationships with content creators. Um, Narcissists often project onto others exactly what they're doing themselves. And I've just been trying to figure out how it got to this place and like what I did wrong and like trying to sort through like if I'm to blame. I'm, I, I have creators in my DMs telling me that people are telling them I'm dangerous and I'm like, I'm dangerous? Honestly, I feel like that's the impression she gives us. Even I, a wee creator, am a little afraid of her seeing this and taking some sort of action. You have to take responsibility for your own reputation. I'm dangerous. How am I dangerous? What did I do? What did I do? It's confusing to me because then they think I'm dangerous. And then when I try to talk to them, I can't get through to them because they literally have been convinced or brainwashed by the trolls that I'm dangerous. And so I'm then put in a situation where they don't like me and I don't know how to defend myself out of that. Like, I don't even know what to say when I'm in these situations with people. Okay, that's a lot to unpack. Let's just list some traits she seems to be displaying here. An inability or unwillingness to recognize the needs and feelings of others. Significant interpersonal problems and easily feels slighted. Feels depressed and moody because she feels short of perfection. Like, I don't know what to say to a creator who's been gaslit by trolls into believing that I'm a dangerous person, even though I'm not. And I don't know how to respond to that. I don't know how to say, like, to someone, that's not who I am. She's telling people what they believe is not true. She expects to be recognized as superior and for others to have unquestioning compliance. And it... The frustrating part is that that isn't who I am. So then I feel frustrated that I even have to explain. Are people like, here's the thing. If someone were to come into my messages and they said, don't talk to this person because they're bad. I wouldn't listen to this random stranger on the internet who I've never met before and listen to them as gospel, let alone if a thousand people were sending me these messages. And why would it matter if a thousand people sent me a message and said, you shouldn't like Lindsay Chrisley, or you shouldn't be friends with Amy Duggar. Why would I listen to people on the internet? Her entire channel is built upon gossiping about other people, and she expects everyone to believe her. People aren't solely reacting to gossip about her. She is very public, and everyone has seen her in action. A lot of other creators have a problem because they've apologized for their part in the drama, but it's hard to feel that sorry for you because of the way you act when under the microscope. interesting right now i'm just sharing my truth um i haven't um received a lot of apologies to be honest um and the people i have received apologies from have been really 
kind. I've had some good conversations with people, um, but I, I actually haven't received that many apologies from people, to be honest, really at all. So, and that's not even really what I'm looking for. Like, I'm not expecting people to apologize to me. Um, this isn't like, um, I don't know. This feels like superiority. She doesn't feel the need to apologize to anyone, as she hasn't received enough apologies. This also smacks a little of entitlement. And I want to just say something, I think, in general. Like, we are human beings as content creators, and um, people will say, like, well, you're, like, a public figure now, and so you just have to be thick, and, you know, you run a gossip page, so this is what you deserve, and um, I guess, thank you. Um, I don't know how running a gossip page is deserving of people filing false police reports against my husband, though. That doesn't really make sense to me. And I don't know how it's filing for false CPS reports, wasting taxpayers money, wasting CPS time, wasting police time, and trying to set me up for crimes and sending death threats. As unpleasant as this woman is, and although we might be taking some jabs, no one deserves the kind of harassment that she is talking about. You can cancel people, you can meme them, go on Reddit and yap about them, but stepping into someone's real life and family is crossing the line. Telling people to kill themselves, obviously, is unacceptable. I feel like I'm in a constant state of trauma right now. And so if my Twitter is confusing and if I don't make sense, I that's just my life right now. Um, I feel like everyone's telling me that I need to do things a certain way, that I need to tiptoe around things, that I need to respond this way so people will like me again or I need to do this so that people will listen to me. Um, this is trauma. Is that what this is? Is that what I'm going through? Is this trauma? It very well could be trauma. Also, people with narcissistic tendencies have difficulty regulating emotions and behavior and experience major problems with stress and change. And on my Twitter, people are, some people are like, you're throwing out so much information and one minute you're mad at someone and the next minute you're happy. And it's like, I'm probably going to be all over the place for a few weeks. You know, I'm, I might be up and down. And what I'm really trying hard not to do right now is lash out. I don't want to lash out at anyone. I am so angry at a few people. Trust me. I am very angry at the people that have done this to me. And I'm very angry at some of the, at a few creators, but for the most part, I'm not angry at most creators. And for the most part, I'm not angry at most people. Um, some people have asked if I'm going to go on other people's channels and I just don't really know. Um, I don't really feel like my going on other people's channels is going to change anyone's mind. Um, I don't know if it's going to help people see me any better than they already do. I get so scared of going onto other people's channels. I'm always scared of going onto other people's channels. I always get afraid that when I'm on somebody's channel, their audience is going to hate me. And then once I'm there, um, somehow I'm going to turn all of these people into haters or they're going to say, yep, that's right. She is a bad person. So I just usually stay on my island, which is this place. Narcissists cannot let the social mask slip. They have to control the narrative at all times so no one can spot a weakness or a vulnerability. So the next time you consider saying to me, is it all worth it? How about you say this? Instead of saying, is it all worth it? Say, is there, is there something I could do to help by maybe asking Team YouTube 
about what they're going to do about creator on creator harassment and what they're going to do to protect their employees because they don't want to call us employees, but we really are. I mean, this is expecting special favors and unquestioning compliance with her expectations. Narcissists can also come off a little conceited. There's a lot of us that are doing this full time and we need protection as creators. We should be able to go to work and not have to enter a hostile work environment. Two quick thoughts here. As content creators, we are independent contractors, not employees by definition. I also believe that on YouTube, you get the community and the workplace that you foster. If your content is gossipy and intrusive, and you are too, your community might not be the most thoughtful. We should be able to go to work and not have our colleagues um, trying to ruin our careers. And we should be able to go to work and just do our thing without everyone trying to destroy us. I have heard very few creators on YouTube talk about other creators trying to destroy them. She truly cannot see how any of this could be at all her doing. Because that would not be acceptable in any other workspace. And I think creators need better protection. Well, that's it. Our quick little look at Katie Joy without a crystal ball. Let's hope she doesn't watch. Thank you guys for watching, though, and being so amazingly supportive. I would love it if you'd click like, make a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And maybe subscribe and click notifications. Until next time, do something kind. Hasta luego.